Hey, so a discussion just came up in unofficial Darktable. Um, somebody saying, hey, I'm using Darktable, but I used to use Lightroom. I do bulk editing on a bunch of stuff, but the individual little changes that I make here and there, uh, how can I do something like this? So this is the Lightroom panel that you may have seen, that it's just a power panel. It does so much of the basic settings all in one place really fast um, and we don't really have the same thing in Darktable because all of these things are inside individual modules. So that got me thinking. So here's an experiment. So the first thing I did was I went into I'm in Linux so dot config slash Darktable is where all the settings are. So I moved my Darktable folder to Darktable.back and then started it up and as far as my computer is concerned it's the first time I've ever started using Darktable um, so after I've done this this is not how I want to this is not how I want to live so um, I can just copy that dot back over the Darktable and I'm back to my settings but interesting actually let's have a look there's probably a preference preferences file in here interesting there's yeah interesting so it's actually only this file that I needed to change you could you could have different dark table setups and just toggle between different versions of that file and effectively go into dark table and have different UI experiences but there you go so here's what we're gonna do we have a set of images here I have gone and I have set and I have unchecked the box, expand a single dark room module at a time. I've unchecked that. And what that means is these are all open. So I've favorited contrast, brightness, uh, exposure, white balance. And let's see, that you do that by going in here and all of these kind of toggle between hidden, visible inside their tab, and also favorited. So let's add one more. Let's add um, vibrance in here, even though I don't really use it. But you'll see this monitor is, on this monitor anyway, I can now have all of these tabs open. So the next trick to, to going through a bunch of images is, if we set this to equal three, Uh, where is it? There. Equal three. So here are, are all the images in my set that are three stars. I don't think that's right. Is it? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it for, for four stars. So here are all the images that are equal to four stars. So if I go to the first one and I do my ta I do my changes like this and these are all open so they're all visible and then I hit the 5 key it moves to the next one because this is equal to 4 so I can do my changes here little changes hit 5 on to the next one little changes etc etc so that is I guess the equivalent of that Lightroom little power panel um, and as long as you can visually fit them, expand it into the space, you're all you're all good. Um, if they didn't all fit, this would start to become a pain in the balls. Excuse my language, because uh, the scroll wheel doesn't work here. The scroll wheel tends to affect an individual setting that you're hovering on. Um, so yeah, really, you want to minimize the number of things here to just fit. Vibrance, I will probably never use. So I could, I could work like that for sure, and have that power panel. Um, what else do I want to say? Not a whole lot. Is that all I want to say? Yeah, that's all I want to say. Uh, have a good day. Adios.